I know it's, it almost sounds like a conspiracy theory at this point, but that we would try, you know, try to rally the American people around a common enemy, whether it's through a false flag or some other strategy, this combination over the past 24 hours of this U.S. and U.K. propaganda telling us that Iran and Russia teaming up to bring us, you know, to create a, a force of nuclear weapons. So I keep looking for these signs of the wag the dog moment. And every morning I'm sort of surprised by the new headlines. And I see today the U.K. and U.S. warning about a, an alliance to build, a, you know, a Iranian nuclear weapons and with Russia. And now we need to fear that. Um, what's well, the truth here? You, you say wag the dog. And I think it's interesting that if you listen to Zelensky and Netanyahu, they both have a similar objective. Both of them want desperately to drag the United States into war on their behalf. That's quite right. clear. So we're already the dog being wagged at this point. The question is, are, are we going to be wagged and dragged right over the finish line, which means open war with Russia, Iran, and potentially China, and who knows el who else in the, in the Middle East? I mean, the, the entire region is up in arms right now against Israel. Th that's another question. Now, to get back real quick to something else you mentioned, this missile the Houthis launched, remember it flew... 1300 miles in we estimate about 12 minutes a hypersonic that, yes that sounds hypersonic to me that may have flown at say 4500 or 4900 uh, miles per hour anything over 4500 miles per hour is hypersonic and it can go all the way up to 7600 7, miles per hour which we don't see very often so most of it is uh, Mach 5 Mach six it's not going to get to mach seven but the point is it seems like it was probably hypersonic and if they say it wasn't then the question is why didn't israeli air defense elements not shoot it down because if it's slower than uh, hypersonic then you can target it and you can shoot it out of the sky but it didn't happen so i you know i don't know what to believe except we know the hooties flew this thing 1300 miles in 12 minutes and landed it right in the middle of tel aviv if i were an israeli i would take that quite seriously wouldn't you absolutely and yeah the question is why wasn't it shot down if it could have been shot down and if it and if it if they don't if they couldn't shoot it down because it's hypersonic then that speaks to the power that of these weapons that they have in their arsenal and the United States and Israel appear not to have a response to that, no? No, I, I think that's right. I, I don't think we can defend against hypersonic missiles. The United States cannot, neither can the Israelis. Now, we have the capability to build and launch hypersonic missiles. All of your intercontinental ballistic missiles, by the way, are hypersonic, which is why nobody can shoot them down. That's why if you escalate to the strategic level with nuclear weapons, you might as well bid farewell to everybody you know because you're going to be destroyed. No one can shoot it down. No one can stop it. There is no defense against it. I, I think this is an interesting point that we've reached if you stop and consider it. We've been on a long journey, a long journey to a very dangerous destination. The destination has always been confrontation with Russia and Iran and potentially others now. All we have to do is look at BRICS. And BRICS uh, controls at least 40% of the gold in the world. And they're talking about going to another currency inside BRICS that excludes us that will be based on gold, at least partially, if not completely. All of these things seem to be moving in parallel, economic, political, and military. Everyone is divorcing themselves from the United States and Israel. It's that simple. And we have a few diehards like Starmer over in London who's at war with his own people, who also wants to go to war with Russia. And he's dangerous because he, like Boris Johnson, his predecessor, could easily drag us into a wider conflict. I don't think...